much fun and frivolity when it comes to weddings. Flowers, cake, dancing, and diamonds. It can be easy to overlook the basics of building a strong relationship. Here to help us learn how to say I'm sorry is counselor Ken Dolan Delvecchio. Welcome, Ken. Hey, Lana, great to be with you. Oh, my pleasure. So the first thing we want to just acknowledge is that we all make mistakes. And we do it with some frequency. And in fact, admitting that I've made a mistake is not a bad thing. It's a sign of strength. And it's also just a sign that we're in touch with reality and our relationships with other people. And we want to be responsible in those relationships. Where does somebody begin if they're not used to making uh, apologies with others? Where do they start? Well, first of all, it's important just to be self-aware. So if I say something that I notice the other person scowls at or looks pained by, it's important for me to be noticing that, to be paying attention to them, and, and to then say, oh, I'm sorry, that was rude. To just state that I did something that was rude, that was an error. It probably made you feel disrespected or dismissed or whatever. We should apologize for large and small mistakes. I once was coaching a group, a large group in a business where they had been, they had been led by somebody who was quite abusive to them for some time and they'd been given all kinds of indications to senior management about it. Finally, the person who was abusing them was let go. And I said to the next in charge, I said, one of the things these people want more than anything is a simple apology. And that senior leader said, I don't want to do that. I don't want to open the wound again. And that, that's ridiculous. When you apologize, you are not opening the wound. You're taking responsibility. That wound was open. And if that senior leader had said, I'm sorry that I wasn't paying attention, that I wasn't heeding your calls for help, would have been really healing. So apologies heal. They are not a sign of weakness, they're a sign of strength. It takes a lot of courage to make an apology. It and it forms a new path in a relationship. It is, it is the opening for the beginning of a new history. It's the opening for the beginning of restored credibility. If you pretend that you don't know or you, you feel like I'm not going to bother taking responsibility for that, acknowledging it, the hurt just continues. The hurt continues and festers. I'll tell you a really quick story. So my little boy, who's now 26, and I were driving the car. He loved to tell stories. And he could go for quite a long time recounting a story that he had read or a movie he'd seen. And one time he was doing that. And I kind of drifted into my own thoughts. Without thinking, I said, Eric, can you be quiet for just a minute? Kind of a small, rude thing to say. But, it, but I looked back, I knew immediately that that had landed in a really pained sort of way. I looked back, his little face was in a scowl. He's kind of oh. confused and hurt. And I said, Eric, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I got sidetracked. I was really rude. And I said rude in kind of a funny way. Go on with your story. I love to hear what you have to say. And you can see his, he brightened up. He kept going. And I've told him this in more recent years. He's like, Dad, I don't remember that. That's what I wanted. Your because apology changed, changed his perception. Yeah, it, just, he, he, it just became incidental. But if I did that, and I did things like that, as so many parents unfortunately do, with some regularity, unthinkingly, without taking responsibility, those are arrows to a child's heart. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do it. We also want to be a role model, right? A role model who takes responsibility, who, who restores credibility and respect, move forward and things are better from there. I don't do it again. Don't do it again. These are the building blocks of a strong relationship for a couple saying absolutely, I'm sorry. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you don't want to do the unapologies, which are, oh, I'm sorry that happened. Or, I'm sorry you feel that way. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like, this, this goes nowhere. Or, I'm sorry, but. Yep. I'm sorry, but aren't you being a little oversensitive about that? And, and the last one is, the, the idea that my intention, my good intention, somehow excuses 
the impact on you, yes. which it doesn't. Yeah. It, most of us operate out of good intentions most of the time. We do. But if we say something that hurts another person, we do something that's disrespectful or a mistake, it matters. It does matter. It but, matters. Well, Ken, I hate to interrupt you, but we are running out of time. I thank you so much for being here. Great to be with oh, you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah.